This video demonstrates using Intel VTune Profiler together with a custom data collector to enable customized analysis. It will demonstrate configuring the custom data collector to interact with the VTune data collection and injecting custom data after collection has completed. Start by configuring a new analysis and select one of configuring an application or process ID or system-wide collection. Expand the advanced options and scroll down to the custom collector text box. This example is using a batch file, but this can also be a compiled program or a Python script. The batch file will be called by VTune Profiler with several environment variables set, including a collect command argument specifying whether to start, stop, pause, or resume collection. This batch file is only implementing the start and stop options. Other environment variables include the data directory path name where the custom data is to be written to be integrated into the analysis results. The batch file is starting multiple instances of the custom data collectors where each will collect different metrics. When the VTune Profiler data collection is started, we see an output window for the application as well as one for each of the three custom data collector instances. When the data collection has completed, the custom data collector script is called and it stops each data collector instance. VTune Profiler integrates the custom data into the results during the finalization phase of the collection. After finalization completes, switch to the bottom up tab to view the custom data in the timeline. In this case, custom data counters 1, 3, and 5 are reported as counter rate and counters 0, 2, and 4 are reported as instant values. You can interact with the custom data in the timeline similar to the other metrics, including by mouse hovering over the timeline to see the custom data values at that time. Let's look at the custom data file names and content. The custom data file names can start with any user-defined string, but must end with the keyword hostname, followed by the hostname of the system under test and the .csv extension. The header of the custom data file indicates the metric name and its data type. In this case, counter zero is an instantaneous value and counter one is a counter rate value. Each data line must start with a timestamp to map it to the other data collected at that time. Here is an example implementation of generating the timestamp for each data line in the custom data file using time and get system time calls. Here is an example implementation of writing the discrete data types instantaneous value and count rate to the custom data file. This is an example implementation of using the system and VTune profiler environment variables to format the full path name to the custom data file for this collection instance. Next, let's consider the case where custom data has been collected, but not through the VTune profiler interaction previously demonstrated. To demonstrate that case, a new custom data file following the file name requirements is added to the VTune profiler results data directory. The content of that file must also adhere to the same format rules. This new custom data file adds counters 6 and 7 to the results. In the VTune Profiler GUI, select the Analysis Configuration tab and click the Re-Resolve button to have VTune refinalize the data, including the data in the new custom data file that has a timestamp in the range of the VTune Profiler collection time. After the refinalization completes, switch to the bottom up tab and counter six and counter seven are now included in the data. VTune Profiler also supports interval custom data. After finalization, the custom interval data appears in the frame rate swim lane of the timeline. In this case, there are two overlapping interval custom data with the display showing the start of each one. Mouse hover over the timeline to see all the active intervals and their start times and durations. The custom data file name must follow the same naming convention. The header indicates the interval name, start time, and stop times with optional program and thread IDs. These are examples of how custom data can be merged with V2 and profiler results to add additional context to data analysis of timeline events.